the screen, there is a refresh button. And when stuff like that happens, all you have to do is hit that refresh button. Right. And oh. Have to refresh the whole page. Oh. Yeah. They didn't have, <laughs> when I first came to blog, they didn't have that. It's a <laughs> great, nice little feature they added. Oh, but it doesn't work sometimes, Gamma said. Yeah, yeah. It, yeah, it's it's not a completely foolproof thing. <laughs> anyway, uh, recording uh, part one now, because I actually hit the right button this time. Yay! <laughs> this is Cindy Spotlight Live here on Blog TV. Uh, tonight's guest is Tiger WDR from uh, YouTube, um, talking about some of the copyright stuff, and it sounds like he's got some future plans in the work. Works yeah. as well. Um, so we'll be talking about that, and <clears throat> I think just about anything else that crosses our little minds here. Um, Tiger, just to be let afraid, you know, also be very afraid. <laughs> <laughs> you can also go to my channel on here, and you can actually download the videos as window movie uh, files. Um, if you're so interested, um, you're certainly more than welcome to use any of it if you want to use it on your channel or whatever. If you want to put excerpts up or yeah, however you want to do it, would be good. Yeah. So that people can go, the people that miss the show can actually listen and go, We hate you! <laughs> right. The troll's like, You hacked haters. my channels! I thought, I thought they were their... coming too. I, well, I think maybe they chickened out. It I invited out. them. I, know. I, all, I all but sent them a limousine. Well, they didn't They didn't do it. I, I just kind of wonder still... why. I was going to well, say, they... you know, this is the, the, the night is young, folks. The night is young. <laughs> yeah. It might be that they don't really want to talk to him, you well, know? It a, and it is a school night. Ooh. 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 <laughs> yes, folks, he went there. Oh, yeah. I, I, I just wonder if maybe they really don't want to be in a position where he can actually say what he wants to say. Or more like I can reply in real time. Right. Yeah. yeah I, used, I used a buzzword. Ooh. That's scary. <laughs> right. <laughs> You know, that's the thing, too. Oh, they can't. that's right. Good, good point, Gamma. Yeah. They can't, you know, it, it's one of those people that will talk all sorts of shit behind your back, but will never in a million years confront you face to face. Well, we, uh, I've always called them keyboard commandos. Yeah. You know, people yeah. who will, people will, who will cower behind their computer screen mm -hmm. and, you know, as much as they deserve to get punched in the face, they know full well that you can't reach across the monitor and smack them. Laptop gangsters. That works too. Yeah. So I'm, you know, I, I'm still waiting for them to show up. I would like them to show up. I would like to have an, a, an opportunity to answer them, like right here, right now, especially for all the copyright stuff, because there's a lot. Of, can I can I add one disclaimer just real quick since I'm thinking about it? Sure. Um, just so everybody knows, I'm not a lawyer. I don't represent any legal form, any legal uh, place or anything like that. I'm just a YouTube user. So. Um, if you're going to do something daft with copyright law, I would highly emphasize seeking actual legal advice before doing anything daft, silly, or otherwise that could cost you potentially thousands, if not millions of dollars. Right. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I also there. want to point out that, um, you know, the, the information that we're talking about is widely available if, if, you, if you take the time to go look for it, because I would also like to point out, um, and God, does this bring back memories? Way back when Deb and I first started doing shows together, we are also not legal experts or lawyers in any shape or form. Um, we just did a lot of digging to learn a lot of stuff and found out about a bunch of bullshit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, it's, it, I kind of feel important to say that because I don't want somebody coming back saying, Tiger, but you said, well, I didn't say I was right. <laughs> All right. You know, this is, this is just what I have found available. Right. Well, I was so overwhelmed when I started reading about all this stuff because there were so many entities involved, you know, especially with music. So many hands in the till. And trying to, to dig through it and put all the pieces together and figure out who everybody is and what they do. It's, it's, it's like almost impossible. They don't, they don't want people to understand it. They want you to screw up so they can sue you. Or be afraid, be so afraid that you don't even try it. Yeah, like, I think that's what they're hoping that the indie broadcasters will do. They're hoping yeah, I just that put, we'll tuck I just put run. a link in the, into the open chat here. That's the original video that started all this. And ironically enough, I've received an offer from YouTube to make myself a uh, YouTube partner based on this video and, and earn revenue from this video. Wow. Uh, Probably based on the hits that you've gotten on it. They, You know. <laughs> I... I 
very politely declined the offer for that just because I didn't feel it would be right because, you know, that's not why I made that video. Um, right. But that's, the, that that's the video that started it all. <laughs> I saw that video. That video is fantastic. Yeah, that's that's the one where I'm in the in my fatigues and going through a, a short list of people who are owned, whose whose music you officially cannot touch, and that list keeps on growing. Mm -hmm. And I'm still getting I'm still getting messages from people and uh, people leaving uh, on my page. Now what's happening are people are putting up videos that has music that's not by the Warner Music Group, uh, like. Uh, the example given to me was George Harrison, mm -hmm. who's uh, I forget who he signed with, but it's not Warner Music. But Warner Music is claiming is claiming all George Harrison music as theirs, so they're filing DMCA claims against people for that, right. and it's not their place to do so. Right, because it's not their video. Well, it's not their music. Right. That's what uh, I meant to say. But yeah, you're with me. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. Rob just made a point here in the chat. He said if you're if you're broadcasting strictly original music, then there's nothing to worry about. And we hope implied in that statement is with permission. Okay, um, there is something to worry about though, like the incident where um, Black Angel came under fire mm -hmm. because the uh, bot picked up a digital thumbprint of one of their songs. And they were claiming that it was actually a Carrie Underwear song. And it wasn't. <laughs> but I said, okay, now if you're in trouble for having your your own song on there, and they're saying, you know, it's a Carrie Underwear song, it's copyright infringement. Well, if I play that song, am I infringing on Carrie Underwear's copyright too? Even though it's truly a Black Angel song all the way. And it has nothing, in the two songs, Get, just given Black Angel's style of music, I don't see how that would sound like <laughs> Carrie Underwood, a Carrie Underwear. Oh, my bad, Carrie yeah. Underwood. You know, not a bit. I did enjoy Hello Hand. I, I... no, that was Pete Berwick. Uh, Pete Berwick. That was our friend uh, Pete Berwick. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, that's the wrong person. But <laughs> uh, he, actually, he's he's a very very good friend of uh, J C Martin from Black Angel. Oh yeah. I met him through Black Angel. But yeah, Hello Hand. What a fabulous song. Well. Um, I'm going to try to answer Kevin's question because it's my understanding of the law is that when a song is published by a music group like let's say we're going to pick on Warner because they're the ones being little bitches about this mm -hmm. um, Warner basically owns all rights to the music and that includes anybody who's a songwriter and such the songwriter and the performance and the artists are completely out of the loop at that point uh, I say this because at the time last December when Warner and YouTube had their falling out uh, bands like Metallica had all of their videos removed off of YouTube, which I found wonderfully ironic because, you know, way back in the 90s, the, uh, the, the, the drummer from Metallica, Lars Ulrich, was the person screaming that the internet was stealing all of his money. Right. And, um, and Metallica was one of the first casualties of war. Uh, <laughs> um, what if the writer does not sell out to the label? Well, I don't know if that's even a. I don't even know if that's an option at that point because the label basically buys the music. Mm -hmm. They buy the rights, lock, stock, and barrel. For most, for the most part, um, I mean, there might be some special cases when you're talking. Why you know, would there's... anybody create something and then just hand it over like that? Well, I do. They they promise all the the moon and the stars. Here's here's a better way to answer that, Kevin. Um, I'm sure everybody remembers when Prince became a symbol. Um, well, the reason that happened and Prince had to go and re-record a lot of his original music was um, because the label that he was it was uh, the, all his songs were were tied up in a contract dispute with his original label. Um, so he, including I think even the name Prince, that's why he became a symbol for a time, um, just because of uh, it was all tied up because so, the label owned the music. Is is the best way I can I can try to explain that. Oh uh, my, this is wonderful. To answer Gamma, uh, um, I'm sorry. Go on, go on. No, go ahead. Uh, I was going to say, um, 
Uh, they were at, Gamma was asking, has Warner stopped this? And the answer is yes and no. Um, the uh, Yes, they have signed an agreement or they have an agreement with you, 